Uh, welcome to another episode of the F85 conversion. The car right now, brakes are getting done, not interesting TV. We're going to the next level, uh, starting to talk about the, how the transmission is going to be installed in this thing. It originally was an automatic, ain't going to work. It was a Slim Jim. From everyone we talked to, it's a big piece of crap. So we're going to yank that out, put an M5R1 Ford transmission or Mazda transmission in the vehicle. The clutch is not a stock part of this car and we don't want a clutch pedal. With an electric car, you hit the gas and it, and it moves. You don't have an idle. So we can let the clutch out, put it in first gear and just hit the gas and you're moving. When you go to shift into the next gear, you're gonna hit a button on the stick shift of this car and it's gonna actuate this linear actuator and push this, this clutch pedal and allow you to shift. You shift and then it sucks back in and you're in your next gear. That's how we're gonna solve the problem of the clutch in this car. We can have a five-speed transmission, allows us the efficiency of all the different gear ratios. With the motor that we're putting in, which is an AC50 um, polyphase motor, electric motor, um, that has its peak horsepower right around 3,000 RPM. So it's much like a gas motor. We'll need to shift through the gears just like a regular car would, would have to do. But we're trying to do it in the most efficient way without having clutch pedal. So this is our solution as it stands right now. We might have to put two of these in to actuate the clutch. Uh, but for right now, we're going to test it with one. So this is the theoretical idea and we'll start to build this part out and start testing it in the car, which you'll see in later episodes. The nice part about the M5R1 Mazda transmission is we can buy all the parts that we need to adapt to the AC50 motor off the shelf right now. The only things we'll need to do in the car is uh, change the back yoke of the transmission to adapt to the driveline of the F85 and the transmission mounting bracket, but we're gonna have to make a mounting bracket for the motor itself anyways. So those things are all part of how we're gonna put this together. Other than that, all of our problems are solved. Uh, we're gonna test the car with lead acid batteries initially, and then move into making lithium ion pack for it. But that's just a general explanation of where we're at with the car right now, and so we're good! <laughs>